So this fish too was my great grandmother's recipe or as close to it as I could get. I just learned a week ago, my dad taught me forever that you know you put tomato paste and tomato sauce in the fish too. But my great grandmother's recipe actually did not call for any tomato at all. No sauce, no paste. I questioned that, but now I know that, you know, back during the depression time when they did the fish too, it was uh they didn't really use tomato because it wasn't readily available. So we want to start this out, this fish too, by just, you know, putting our bacon in. By the end of this video, everybody's probably already tired of fish twos, but we start with bacon, and then we'll start layering everything in, in just a minute too. Got some clouds. So we're going to take our onions, add it. That's the base layer. I like to add my onions first. You can either do the potatoes first or the onions first. I like to mix it up sometimes. Sometimes I will do the potatoes. I want to put our potatoes in. Put a nice sizzle to it. Maybe we got a good heat. Got the fire. And we're going to go ahead and drop our rock head in there. If you see the, the blue tag, you see this blue tag right here on the rock? It means that it's been commercially harvested. All right, we're going in. I know all those eggs aren't going in there. talk about it okay so what we're gonna do is we have some eggs we don't have as many as what we started with but we're gonna go ahead and add the eggs I like to add the eggs before the, the fish because I don't want the fish to overcook so we're gonna go ahead and add these eggs it's really hot by the way when we put these eggs in here they're gonna almost instantly cook in this boiling water so at some point during cooking the fish stew, you want to add a little bit of pepper. And again, it's like no measurements. You kind of add what you feel. I don't like to over season. I'm not an over seasoner because when you get this, you can always season it more. And some people don't like that much pepper and some people don't like that much salt, but you probably need to put at least a little bit of each in there. Just give a little flavor. I've never added uh, Old Bay, but I'm just going just a dash. I mean, nothing crazy. This was actually the traditional way. This is my great grandmother's recipe. I don't doubt she used Old Bay, but uh, the old traditional way was without tomato, apparently, or from what I've learned, is uh, no tomato paste or sauce. And it's relatively a clear stew. You can watch Vivian Howard. She does something similar, but she does one can of sauce and one can of paste. But in here we've added none, nothing but salt, pepper, and just a dash of Old Bay. We tried it a little earlier to make sure the potatoes were done, and they're done. Um, now we're gonna, I like a couple red pepper flakes. Since there's no tomato paste or sauce in here, I'm just going, just a few. I mean, nothing to overpower it. Red pepper flakes can be very hot. And our eggs are cooking, so we're gonna go ahead and drop our rock in here. Rock is in season right now off the Pamlico River in North Carolina. But unfortunately in this area you can't keep the rock and that's why you saw the blue tag on the rock earlier because it came from a seafood market. Finishing this up, as, as soon as this fish cooks it's coming off and I'm sure it's going to be just as good as a tomato based fish too. I mean it looks and smells amazing. All right cameraman? Let's give a camera nod. 
Awesome. Cool. So, very traditional fish to keep it layered. You don't stir. Ain't, I mean, I've cooked the fish in there longer, but I like to kind of add it toward the end where it doesn't overcook. And this is ready to pull to the side and ready to serve. That's the way it is. And it looks and smells phenomenal. We did this dessert, blueberry peach cobbler, on this video with uh, Miss Phelps today. She runs a professional bakery. She is top notch. I couldn't ask a better person to come on this channel to do a dessert for us in a Dutch oven. If you like desserts, make sure you check out that separate video on Wildfire. And I did the fish too, We're about to try it out. Some of our other crew have tried it and they thought it was better than the tomato based. Um, but if you like, desserts. You might want to go check out that video on our channel. And if you like fish twos, we have a pretty much the documentary on that one too. So like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Well fired. I'm fired channel. You can't hardly beat it. That's the real deal. Subscribe. grandmother's recipe. <laughs> I just peed it myself. <laughs> and uh, if you like fish too, subscribe. <laughs>